This large island in the middle of the African plains will house the new gorilla habitat. For several months now, curator of horticulture Stephen and his team have been busy establishing the layout and its rich covering of vegetation. This is a very different habitat to what they're used to. It's based on Mbeli Bai, which is an area of Congo, which is a, an opening in the forest. So you've got a wet area in amongst the rainforest itself. And we're trying to recreate the effect of that. Uh, the idea is that they don't see each other completely. You've got mounds, you've got river marshes that stretch into the distance. But if they want to get away from each other or from us, they can go over the hill and sit somewhere else. And then the planting enhances that. We've got 200 different sorts of plants. There's about 15,000 plants in total gone in here. So they've got different communities of plants as they would find in the wild. Here we are amongst our wildflower mix. This was sown with the grass seed back in May. It's taken over the whole area and we're just uh, waiting to see what the gorillas do when they get out here. We can't wait to see what the gorillas will leave alone, what they'll eat, what they won't eat. They, these were the biggest challenge because we went round the rest of the zoo looking at trees that were starting to fail. We picked out a few that were big enough to do the job but small enough to get in. And we had to get cranes in and specialist people to cut them in one piece, lift them in in one piece and then trim them to shape and size once we got here. The fact that we've got a natural bridge, it gives them a bit of elevation, they can see where they're going. So it's going to look very, very good once they get out here. They will graze grass when they come out here, but they want something more than that. So we've sown this with a mixture of ordinary grass weeds. You've got plantains down here. We've got clover in the background. It will grow again. You can't kill a weed very easily. There's a range of water plants here, different heights, different colours, different flowering times. And it means they've got more stimulus, more enrichment, more interest, more picking, more time spent doing it. It's perfect for the gorillas. If you look at gorillas in the wild, they sometimes will eat a plant for a particular purpose. There's a medicinal element to it that helps them if they're sick. This is a willow. It contains an actual salicylic acid, which is the element you find in aspirin. And that's where they found the first aspirin from. And we'll see if they do focus on one or two of them. So that'll be an interest in itself. We visited lots of other zoos around Europe. We visited zoos in America. And we think we've got the most diverse collection of plants that we could possibly get provide the stimulation and enrichment that we really want to have for our gorilla fruit. And we're very, very hopeful that it's going to look very good for years to come.